Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Shahzad and you're watching my YouTube channel. Uh, Muhammad Shahzad Arshad 2000 is my YouTube channel. Uh, okay guys, uh, another lecture. Uh, we are going to see how to block USB storage or U USB or storage devices uh, via group policy objects. Uh, last in, in my last lecture, we were covering up uh, the semantic endpoint protection and we have seen uh, how to block storage devices like USBs, external drives with the semantic endpoint protection manager. And today we are going to see how we can block these things uh, with the group policy objects. So uh, we will go direct to our lab and uh, I will show you uh, how we can do that first we have as you know we are using our one uh, lab controller uh, sorry the domain controller here is our one machine uh, it's a uh, home lab dot com uh, dot local home lab dot local there is a one machine another server machine we have and we will use our USB here uh, and we'll see if this USB is working or blocked so we will do our labs in this so meanwhile, I will just bring my CMD command prompt here, so which we will use for uh, GP update and uh, ping stuff uh, uh, before we go dig into the lab. We want to see if our machine is reachable to our server domain controller, and uh, then we will just use it. Okay, so this one is a bit slow, lower, no problem. We can do it from our... Uh, administrator tools anyway first I would like to uh, show you our you know the USB I'm gonna into my this computer and we will use here our USB I'm gonna plug in my USB and you will see guys oh. here we go see uh, our USB is pumped up prompt up here is and there is some stuff of data inside. I can make new folders like test folder. Okay, so I can make some uh, our files as well, like any text file. Okay, so see it's working here in our uh, this virtual machine. So we want uh, to block these kind of stuff. So what I will do, I will just remove my USB. Okay, it's removed. So we will go in our home lab uh, domain controller and in the domain controller we will go into our group policy uh, editor. I will click uh, group policy manager and then we'll edit some uh, or we will make a new uh, you know uh, USB uh, policy. First of all uh, before we go into the uh, policy object I will just do on the side we'll just organize our organizational unit because maybe this server is not under any any uh, OU so just we will wait and we will open our this one and if I go in my computers and remember uh, this is the uh, computer we are going to test our USB and this one is Windows Server 2019 and it's a uh, client 2 so this one is client 2 I want to show you the name uh, one more time so if we go into our computer manager so you can see the same computer we have uh, uh, the name here see win server uh, win srvc2 and if we go here it's a win srvc2 so we will make another our uh, organizational unit i will go right click on that and i will go uh, new and then we'll make organizational unit and we'll type it like uh, usb block VMs okay so we will just create okay this one is created here so I'll move this one uh, this our uh, server are you either you can drag here or you can move so don't show this message again so it's moved here so this is our server okay so that's great so let's go and uh, make uh, our USB I will do just refresh refresh uh, or I will just close because it will take time to create this one the populate the new organizational unit in the uh, in the group policy okay uh, USB block VMs are here so 
Uh, as of now, we don't have any group policy. We will create a new policy or you can use a default policy if you don't have any new. So you can make a new policy here, new, and we'll call USB block policy. Okay, uh, so source none, okay. So this one is the policy we already have created. So I don't want any other policy uh, coming from the, you know, uh, from the inheritance from the top level. I will block inheritance here. So I don't want this default group policy could damage my this policy. So uh, mix up or, uh, you know, interlink with each uh, with the other uh, group policies. So sometime, you know, in the organizational structure, you have to use uh, uh, a default group policy as a base policy, or you can make a new base, base policy, which is uh, implemented on all the virtual machines in the, in the, in the organization. So for the different uh, uh, and other uh, blockage policies, you can do it, uh, you know, separately. So I will just use this one. I will go edit this policy. Okay, so we will go into the policies and then we will go into the administrator templates. We'll go into the systems and here in the systems, uh, I will just maximize this window. In the systems, we have some removable storage access. So here is the removable storage access. We will use this policy to block the uh, stuff here. You can see here is a lot of policies which is not configured yet. So you can floppy drives, which is uh, outage now. And uh, the CD rooms, you can deny these, these things. So we will just, um, you know, add this one and we will uh, you know, see, see, enable, deny executable uh, CD rooms and uh, CD drives. If you want, we can you know, enable this and you can put your optional notes or comments here. You can do it. Okay. So we will just, okay. And uh, here is removable storage, uh, deny all access to the, sorry, um, go back. Okay, <laughs> okay, we'll go back here. And then we'll go into again in our storage, removable storage. Okay, here is, we are here. So we will just go edit and then enable. It will deny all access to the removable storages. Okay, so this one is okay. So enable and remove so allow direct access to the remote session you can do it this one storages to the remote session we can block here also allow access remote. no cancel this one we, we will use this one only because the all removable storage allow direct access in remote sessions uh, this one is allow policy we don't want we want to deny policies okay tape drives if you want you can use it but as of now, the uh, removable storages, which is external drives, USBs are this one. So other other things you can, uh, you know, apply these policies as per your company policy. If they required your cybersecurity team required to close these uh, things, you, you can do it from here. OK, so this policy is ready now. So we have created our policy. Uh, this is the policy which is already here and uh, details we can see here see and settings it will generate a report and it will show you the policies because we are on a server so it will show you the which policy is working here and in which we we have blocked see here here is the policies so you can check these two we applied here so uh, i will just uh, link this policy to our this server okay so we will sorry i'll close this one to go back because this is a Windows server. Okay, so we will click here and we can, uh, this one is this, okay. We'll click in USB, uh, you know, here and link an existing GPU. Okay, here is the USB block policy. We'll connect, okay. So for this uh, organization, organizational unit, uh, the policy is linked. So what we will do, we will just go and uh, uh, verify and do it one more time, the GPU updates. 
So let's go and for in the run if we have. Or you can log off, log on or restart. It will also uh, policy will go or you can force from there. Uh, let's see if we can reach to our these two. Here is just a wait. Okay. Wait for command prompt if we can. It's not. Okay, I got our CMD here. If you didn't find your CMD, so you can go direct to your, you know, uh, C drive and then Windows and System32 and you can find there, right click and bring it to your taskbar, okay? So we are here. So I will just do GP update slash force. So it will go and uh, bring a new policy from the, uh, so our server. Okay, I will do twice to verify this one. So again, okay, it will take time. Okay, let's try our USB again. So I will just open my uh, Windows server. So we will go and just connect our uh, thumb drive. Okay, so here is our uh, removable drive. You can see there is no bar, uh, like how much, you know, this one, uh, free space or total. Uh, it will show you the this one removable drive, but if you double click here, so it will say access is denied. So this is, this mean our policy is working and uh, uh, the uh, removable drives are disabled by the administrator. So you can show a message as well. If you want, it's in the policy, you can put it there. But the here is see uh, our policy is working. So now uh, that was the, uh, you know, whole video about that and the lecture uh, which we covered how to block uh, USB storage devices with GPU go policy objects uh, in Windows 2019 domain controller via uh, group policies. Hope you guys enjoy my video. Uh, take care. Uh, just go for the promotion and other things. You can see the other lectures. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching my videos. I would uh, like to give you just a quick uh, introduction about my channel, uh, what we have in this channel. If you go into the videos, you can find a lot of videos which is in English and which is in Hindi, Urdu. It's a mix, so you can find a lot of videos there, how to install Security Onion, a witness server, or how to install Always On, configuration, there is labs also, and also uh, there is a full course. Uh, if you go in the playlist, uh, you will find the full courses uh, uh, regarding the you know SQL administration, and uh, network basics, data center designs, uh, and uh, server administrations. Even you have a lot of videos uh, um, like virtualization, it's about the VMware and uh, free NAS and uh, Windows Server 2012 administration, Python, and the CCNA routing switching is in a Hindi course and it's almost 29 videos. And then uh, CCNA, uh, CCNP security, uh, and uh, CCNP routing switching, CCNP uh, T shoot, CCNP switching, CCNA security, C sharp. A lot of videos related to IT guys who want to get a job in IT. You will find a lot of good videos in my in my playlist. So just visit and uh, see the courses, and you will uh, learn free. So uh, I'm making uh, the videos uh, regarding different technologies like. Uh, server storage and uh, uh, cyber security and uh, regarding the uh, networkings so in cyber security you will find a lot of videos regarding nasus uh, kali linux and uh, security onion a popular tool so uh, okay guys i hope you will enjoy my videos uh, just visit and find the appropriate lecture which is uh, in your interest so you will find really good videos
and see uh, WSS monitoring a lot of videos about the Microsoft servers uh, and other stuff so it's a good channel for the guys who want to do job in IT uh, field and um, there is a lot of videos on this channel uh, around uh, 500 videos I have in this channel so you guys can um, go and uh, learn about the different technologies okay thank you very much take care bye bye